Less than half a percent of the world's population live in the Nordic countries. Still, the region combined comprises the 12th largest economy in the world. Over the last 30 years, population has grown by almost 20%. One third from natural increase, two thirds due to immigration. Fertility rates are decreasing and are now at an all-time low in Norway, Finland and Iceland. Since life expectancy increases, the Nordic populations are getting older. Due to immigration, the populations are getting more diverse, which provides both challenges and opportunities for future developments. The Nordic populations are among the most mobile people in the world, with 13 to 16 percent changing residents every year within each country. This mobility also contributes to a high degree of urbanization that brings planning challenges in both shrinking and growing regions. What will happen with the workforce in the Nordic region? The working age population is expected to increase in the Nordic region in general, but decrease in rural areas. Two thirds of all municipalities will have a shrinking labor force over the next 20 years. Overall, total population is expected to increase 8% by 2040, while the working age population only increases 1.5%, causing increased old age dependency. At the same time, calculations suggest that up to one third of Nordic jobs could be automated in a decade or two. This mainly affects jobs in rural areas and jobs in the private sector are more likely to be automated than jobs in the public sector. Still, the number of jobs in the bio and circular economy has gone up by 5 to 15% in the last decade and many rural areas stand to gain jobs in this sector. Overall, the Nordic countries perform better than the EU average, with a Nordic employment rate at nearly 80%, compared to 68% for EU28. Households in the Nordic countries are among the wealthiest in the world. Still, there are differences both between and within countries. The Nordic countries have small wage gaps with an income inequality below OECD average. However, income inequality is increasing in the majority of municipalities across the Nordic region. Inequalities increase at a faster pace than the OECD average in Denmark and Sweden but remained at similar levels in Finland and Norway, while narrowing in Iceland. In fact, Sweden has had the biggest growth in inequality over the last decades in the Nordics. Differences in income are particularly pronounced in the capital regions like Stockholm and Copenhagen, while the smallest income inequalities can be found across municipalities in Norway. Redistribution of income is highest in Finland and lowest in Iceland and Sweden. If you look ahead, the Nordics are among the most innovative in Europe, which points towards positive potential for future economic growth. Nordregio's Regional Potential Index, RPI, is constructed around nine key socio-economic indicators to measure regional development. The region of Oslo ranks as number one on the list, followed by Copenhagen and Stockholm. On average, urban areas perform better than rural. Due to a dynamic labour force, Iceland and the Faroe Islands are improving their ranking from 2017, while weaker GDP and R&D investments in Norway causes lower ranking for most Norwegian regions. The ranking for regions in Denmark and Greenland is stable, while Finland and Sweden have a varied result with some regions scoring higher and some lower than in 2017. Improvements are primarily to be found in rural regions. The Icelandic region of Øysterland, for instance, jumped 12 places. But at the same time, Blerkinger in Sweden dropped the furthest in the rankings with 11 places, as a result of weaker labour and economic factors in comparison to other Nordic regions.